Hi, Brandon and Isaac here to talk to you and unveil the premium miniatures for the Stormlight Archive. Uh, we are really excited to be able to show these off to you. I'm obviously Brandon Sanderson. I wrote the Stormlight Archive. Isaac Stewart is art director and VP of creative development at my company. Uh, and we were deeply involved in the creation of these miniatures. I am really excited to finally be able to show some of them to you. So these are our first official takes on the characters. What does that mean? Well, in the past, we would commission art when we did for the books. We just said, do what's in your head, read the passages, and we would give notes and things like that. But we weren't too concerned if one art piece was a little bit out of sync with another art piece. Um, over time, we started to realize we should probably take a different perspective on that uh, and that we should have an official concept art push in-house at Dragonsteel, come up with our depictions of the characters, and then present those to our partners, such as Brotherwise, who's making these uh, miniatures. Uh, that's one of the reasons that I was really excited about for this project is the, the chance to take some time and really flesh out visually um, what our characters look like. Um, and we're going to see this in all sorts of things starting here. Uh, you'll start seeing official depictions of Kaladin and the other characters in our leather bounds, um, in the products that we make, and it's all starting right here. So let's talk a little bit more about Brotherwise. I mentioned them earlier. Brotherwise Games is our partner for these. Why did we choose to partner with Brotherwise? Well, we had made one game with them before, uh, Stormlight Call to Adventure, and they were just super easy to work with. We really enjoyed the process. Yeah, they, their knowledge of the Cosmere is deep. They understand the characters. Um, they are able to get top quality artists. And in this case, we have top quality um, sculptors who are uh, in many cases also fans and working at a, at a professional level to make beautiful miniatures. Let's talk a little about how the process of this actually worked behind the scenes. Um, I was really interested when I started getting the concept art mostly from Ben McSweeney, though we have a few other concept artists as well. And you would bring to me all of these sketches. You'd say, all right, here is, you know, him throwing everything against the, the wall and saying, what, what does Shalon look like? Here's all my attempts. Yeah, so um, how we worked with uh, Ben on this is, so he was really good at finding the action poses. He's really good at uh, designing clothing and things like that. Um, for the faces, we went to um, Audrey Hot who has done a lot of things for Star Wars and is really good at taking a character and making them consistent across the board. So we have some shots of heads that are all the way around to be able to give those to the sculptors to, to work from. But it's also not just been entirely the concept artists. We've gone back and forth where um, Brotherwise is sculptors would come back with something else and we go, oh hey, we like that. So there's been this melding of coming together for an official take on some of these characters. One of the things that I most wanted when we approached this was to kind of combine this collectible and this uh, miniature sort of idea into one. Um, because we were doing all of this work, and it was a ton of work to get these characters, uh, and the models started coming back looking so good, I said, we've been asked a lot for desktop collectibles, as well as for minis for miniature games. So our hope for this is that this is something that will excite every Stormlight fan. We will have the fully painted uh, figures. You can see those on the Kickstarter page. Mm -hmm. We will have, um, you know, the collections of the characters in a smaller scale for miniatures. And I specifically requested, and they accommodated me on this, kind of some of the large, cool statues that you can get for other characters. You've seen them around for, you know, DC and Marvel characters, the, mm -hmm. the really showpiece statues. Uh, they weren't planning to do it, but uh, I asked and uh, they stepped uh, stepped up and they got us uh, Kaladin and Zeph, which is what I pitched to them. And so really we hope that everybody will find something to love in this uh, that you can pick up. So thank you guys for giving this uh, your attention. Uh, thank you to Brotherwise for all the excellent work. I hope that you really enjoy seeing how this is going and enjoyed hearing about the behind the scenes of the process. And I hope that you will consider backing the Kickstarter.